In this video, I'm going to look at the 11 most transferred in players for game week 11 that can make a legal squad. I'm Midnight Mule, this is Midnight Mule FPL, let's have a look. So the 11 players we're going to consider are Lloris in goal, defence of Saliba, Cancelo, Trippier, James, the midfield is Madison, Martinelli, Trossard, Foden, Anthony, up front is Tony. This is by no means the best squad for this week, I'm not suggesting anyone should get this squad. This is just the 11 most transferred in players at the time of recording, which is Tuesday evening. So the way I'm going to look at this, I'm going to consider the various ways in which you may transfer a player in. So there's a no hit, there's taking a four point hit to bring them in, there's the wild card chip, and there's the free hit chip. And for each of these possibilities, I'm going to consider whether it's a definite yes to bring them in, a tentative yes, in which case I'll try and explain why it's not definite, a tentative no or a definite no. So in goal we have Lloris at 5.5 million. Tottenham's games are at home to Everton, away to Man United, home to Newcastle, away to Bournemouth, home to Liverpool and home to Leeds. I'm smiling because I said Bournemouth, yay! I keep saying Bolton. I've been playing this game so long, Bolton used to be in the Premier League. So regarding clean sheets, the most likely to not be a clean sheet in my opinion at the moment is Man United. It seems to me over the years that Tottenham do struggle at Old Trafford so that's the game I think is most likely to not be a clean sheet. Liverpool are playing awful at the moment so that could be a clean sheet. The home advantage is very good so any of those could be a clean sheet. Man United the least likely. So would I get in Lloris? If it was no hit tentatively I'm saying yes. This is tentative because possibly I'd get a cheaper keeper. Um, I'd get one for maybe like four and a half, four point six, and save the money. But if I didn't need to save the money to spend elsewhere in the squad, or if all keepers were the same price, I think Lloris is as good as any keeper. I wouldn't get Edison, obviously, because he's got a blank week. So tentatively, I think it's right to get Lloris. There's no way I would take minus four to get him. There's way better keepers. Again, tentatively on a wildcard chip, yep, you could bring him in. So wildcard, I'd be thinking the next four to six weeks, how does he look? I think he looks perfectly fine. The only the only reservation is the price. I wouldn't be worried about missing out on having three outfield Tottenham players because I wouldn't want three outfield Tottenham players. Free hit chip, yep, bring him in against Everton. Reasonable chance of a clean sheet there. Trippier, up to 5.6 million now. Newcastle's next six games are away to Man United, home to Everton, away to Tottenham, home to Villa, away to Southampton and home to Chelsea. If he's no hit, you've got a space, you haven't got him, you can bring him in. I would absolutely bring him in. But I wouldn't bring him in for a minus four. I would just wait another week because this week he's away to Man United. On a dead ball, so from a corner or a free kick, he could get an assist, he could get a goal. So it's absolutely worth having him, but not for a minus four. I would leave it another week. On a wild card chip, that's looking a bit more long term. Four to six weeks. Absolutely want him in the squad. I'd bring him in. Free hit, there's no chance I'd bring him in. Against Man United, I could select five other defenders that I think have got more chance of getting more points. Saliba, five million at the moment. Arsenal's games are away to Leeds, then they've got a blank. Away to Southampton, home to Forest, away to Chelsea and away to Wolves. On a no hit, I wouldn't bring him in. He's, although away to Leeds, they may get a clean sheet, but Leeds are pretty good at home and the home crowd makes a massive difference to Leeds, more than I think a lot of the grounds do. And then he's got a blank. So if I wanted Saliba, I would certainly be leaving it until week 13. Definitely wouldn't take a hit to bring him in. On a wild card, again, wild card and no hit are both tentatively no. The only reason to bring him in would be if you were fine in game week 12 that you had enough players that want Man City or Arsenal. But personally, I would rather have various outfield players to Arsenal than a defender. So for my own team, I wouldn't get Saliba at all. Before him, I would be getting Martinelli, Jesus, Saka, possibly even Odegaard. So I wouldn't be bringing him in for myself. But I could understand why you might. Five million for an Arsenal defender is quite good. Free hit chip, I wouldn't be bringing him in. Again, I think I could choose better players. I think Leeds have got a reasonably good chance of scoring. 
James, 6.1 million. They're away to Villa, then away to Brentford, home to Man United, away to Brighton, home to Arsenal, away to Newcastle. With no hit, just bring him in. Yep, he could be getting some clean sheets there. There's always a chance of him getting an assist or possibly a goal. But it's worth noting that James has been a bit disappointing as far as defenders have gone. If you look at all the defenders' scores so far, he's not in the top several. But he's got the potential to get... He could get a couple of uh, double-digit hauls in this lot. So if I didn't have him, he didn't cost me any points to bring in, I would probably bring him in, I'd say. I wouldn't get him in for a hit, though. On a wild card chip, I probably wouldn't bring him in because... I think I could possibly find for the next six weeks before the World Cup five defenders I'd prefer to have. But maybe I wouldn't. You're, you're gambling on what he could do because you know he can be good as opposed to what he's done recently this season. And we've got the potluck thing with Potter at the moment. We don't know for sure who he's going to be playing, who his first choice team is. And then the free hit chip. So this is a one week. For one week, would I bring him in? Away to Villa, there's a reasonable chance he's going to do something. So I would be willing to bring him in on a free hit chip. For Cancelo, 7.3 million. Away to Liverpool, then they have no game. Then home to Brighton, away to Leicester, home to Fulham and home to Brentford. So if he didn't cost me anything, I wouldn't bring him in. If I didn't have him at the moment, I certainly wouldn't sell him, but I wouldn't bring him in. Not for away to Liverpool and then a blank. That's easy enough. So obviously I wouldn't bring him in for a hit. On a wild card, I would bring him in because I obviously want to have Cancelo in the side and I would just make sure I've not got more than three Man City and Arsenal players. So wild card chip, I would absolutely bring him in and I'd be playing him away to Liverpool as well. Free hit chip, no chance I'd be bringing him in, not away to Liverpool. Madison, 8.2 million. They're home to Palace, home to Leeds, away to Wolves, home to Man City, away to Everton and away to West Ham. On no hit, I would bring in Madison. I think he's he's got great fixtures. He's been good recently. Be very happy to have him. Tentatively, I would take a hit of him if my squad needed sorting out, if I wasn't confident of maybe getting 11 players out. He might be worth a minus four, but then uh, is he going to do better next week? Who am I losing? But if I had, say, Luis Diaz and I already made a sub, I'd be willing to swap Madison for Diaz because we know Diaz is getting nothing this week. On a wildcard chip, absolutely bring him in. And for a free hit, I'd bring him in. Trossard, 6.8 million. Brighton are away to Brentford, home to Forest, away to Man City, home to Chelsea, away to Wolves, and then home to Aston Villa. Tentatively, I'd bring him in for a hit. The reason it's tentative is... I could probably name five other midfielders that I'd rather have. Five other midfielders that are less than eight and a half million. So it depends what the rest of the squad looks like. If I if I had Haaland and another premium, maybe De Bruyne or Kane, maybe my money would be a bit tight, so I'd bring him in. And he's a perfectly good choice. But my own team, I've only got one premium, so I can afford to have more expensive midfielders. And he wouldn't be one of my first choice. But I think he's perfectly fine. Obviously, I wouldn't take a hit to bring him in. On a wildcard chip, tentatively, yeah, bring him in. He's okay, but for the reasons I said, he wouldn't fit my team at the moment. Free here, I wouldn't bring him in, not for one week against Brentford. I could find other midfielders I'd rather have this week. Foden, 8.2 million. Oh, wait, well, it's going to be the same fixtures as Cancelo. I wouldn't bring him in if he... I wouldn't bring him in. If I didn't have him and I don't have him... I wouldn't bring him in. I'm intending to bring him in week 13. But for a way to Liverpool and then a blank, I've got other more important issues to deal with than bringing in Foden. So I wouldn't bring him in for a hit. I would definitely bring him in if I was playing the wildcard chip this week. Because long term, of course I want him. And he could get points away to Liverpool. It's not a problem. But the blank is a real problem. Free hit chip, no chance. I wouldn't be bringing him in. Martinelli, 6.6 million. Some people dropped him because of the blank game week coming up in 12 and they probably regretted it because he got a few points week 10. So they're away to... Le oh, it's going to be the same as Salibas. So with no hit, yes, I'd bring him in. Even though he's got a blank, I would just make sure I haven't got more than three Arsenal Man City players so that game week 12, I didn't have to worry about it. 
I wouldn't take a hit to bring him in though. I would just leave it until week 13 and then bring him in. On a wildcard chip, again, because you're building for the future, I would bring him in, but I would make sure I didn't have more than three Man City plus Arsenal players. And a free hit chip away to Leeds, I'd bring him in. He's, he's got a chance of uh, getting an assist and or a goal or two. Anthony, 7.6 million. He's hardly been talked about up to this point. So home to Newcastle, home to Tottenham, away to Chelsea, home to West Ham, away to Villa and away to Fulham. I'd be happy enough to bring him in. Same problem as Trossard though, in as much as there are other midfielders at the moment I'd personally rather have. But Anthony is certainly very, very good. If a couple of my midfielders were out, they were injured or I decided they're completely out of form, I'd be very comfortable and happy to bring him in. But for my personal plans, I wouldn't. I wouldn't take a hit to bring him in. On a wild card, again, tentatively, yes, I'd be happy enough to bring him in, except I could probably find other players I'd prefer, but there's nothing wrong with him. He could well get some good points. On a free hit chip, I wouldn't be bringing him in. That is, I've got him just for one week. I think I could pro find other players I'd rather have than him at home to Newcastle. Newcastle have been quite solid this season. Tony, 7.3 million. Now, all the players I showed you, there's they've all been transferred in more than Tony, and there are players I haven't shown you that have been transferred in more than Tony. It's just that every squad's got to have at least one striker, and Tony's the most transferred in striker. They're at home to Brighton, home to Chelsea, away to Villa, home to Wolves, away to Forest, away to Man City. Yep, I'd be happy to bring him in. His run of fixtures are quite good. Uh, he's on penalties. He's only 7.3 million. No problem bringing him in. I don't think I would take a hit from him. The only way I would take a hit is if I had to sort something out in my squad and I was maybe short of players, then yeah, bring him in. But I wouldn't rearrange. I wouldn't take off a player that was playing for a minus four to bring in Tony. On a wildcard chip, very happy to bring him in. On a free hit chip, I would say no, and that's because I think I could find other players that I'd rather have, other strikers I'd rather have this week than Tony. But he's he's fine. He's absolutely fine to have, but I personally wouldn't be bringing him in on a free hit, and I wouldn't take a hit for him. So that's the squad, and that's my opinions on what I would personally do. I hope that was a little bit interesting. Thank you very much for watching, and let me know in the comments what you think, if you think I've got that horribly wrong somewhere. Bye.